Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome to the Birmingham Bowl here in season number three. Today we face number 25, Georgia, who is actually a 7-5 team. They still have a top 25 defense, though, and a top 10 offense. It's very, very weird how they ended up being 3-5 and five in the SEC because even JT Daniels had a 28-5 touchdown to interception ratio. This is a very good team with a very good defense. I mean, they don't have many holes on this team. It's kind of weird how they ended up losing five games. I think they just had kind of a inconsistent season. They are missing Zamir White, who was their star running back, but they still have Kendall Milton, who is a very capable running back. I mean, they have two big backs that can pretty much start in any program. And then their defense, I mean, look at this. Just straight depth across the board. Secondary, up front, you name it, this is going to be a tough game. So here we go in Alabama as we kick off this bowl game. We look to get... Our first conference championship and bowl victory in the same season is this one is taken back to about the 25 yard line by Jack Saint. And here we go. JT Tan Daniels has had an efficient season. He hands off to Kendall Milton and loses two already. How about Darius Moss? He came into this season as a preseason All American. He didn't quite get there, but still is a capable linebacker. Screen pass called out to Pickens, and this one is going to lose seven. How about Emmanuel Webb with the stop behind the line, playing in his last game as a 49er? So Daniels now third and long, quick throw. Milton out of the backfield. He's tackled. Chase Rollins, the sophomore. 14 yards for Milton out of the backfield, and we get them to punt the ball away. So here comes Brian Rochford playing in his last game as a quarterback here for Charlotte as he throws across the middle, finding Christopher Dalton, gain of 10. Now Rochford has been shaking up the last couple of games. He's coming into this game a little hobbled as he hands off this time to Terrence Pitt Howard, who is approaching 1,000 yards on the season. If he gets 100 yards, he should get it this game. So a second and nine carry. This is Pitt Howard again. Another gain of four as he moves closer into field goal range. So now at the 31 from the shotgun, flag on the play. He's going to throw, and that is Devon Cash playing on the outside. He's usually lined up in the slot. It looks like it's just offside, so this penalty will not matter. We will decline it. As NZ Labada checks into the game now at, a, at the 15. Here's a handoff, and Labada takes it up the middle. He falls forward. Now it's goal to go, gain of 10. He stays in the game now. Matt Brooks line up in the slot this time. Rochford moves. He doesn't have the speed and only picks up a gain of one before stepping out of bounds. So four minutes left here in this first quarter. Third and goal. It looks like Rochford's changing the play at the line. He throws across the middle to Brooklyn, and he drops it. If he would have held on to that, I think he would have fell into the end zone, but instead it's broken up. And now it's 3-0 Charlotte. So here comes Milton on another counter play. He starts out the next drive with a gain of nine. D. Brown Jr. on the stop. He has been so good this year. He's actually an All-American with seven and a half sacks from that defensive tackle position, and he almost has 20 tackles for loss on the year. That leads the NCAA for nose tackles. So first and 10, here's a play action fake again. Throw out to left side. It's the fullback Green who gets a big block. Downfield, and Brandon Green picks up 28 yards. What a block downfield by this receiving core. So here is Milton running over a defender. That's Jacob Ariola, who isn't the biggest safety. Milton does get stopped for a gain of two. So third and six this time. Daniels in the pocket. All day to throw. He launches to the left, and it's caught by Jackson. How about the offensive line play for Georgia? Just leaving a clean pocket for JT Daniels. Goal to go now. Goal line formation. Handoff. Kenny McIntosh. Touchdown. He's in from one yard out. 7-3 lead here for Georgia. Nice answer to our first drive. Here's a first throw out to the middle of the field in the next drive, and it's incomplete. Nolan Smith Jr. was there. He is a second-team All-American this season. Third and 15. Here is Rochford scrambling, throwing. 
Pitt Hauer dropped. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, but Georgia gets the stop. We all know how good their defense is. As here comes JT Daniels back out onto the field. Here he is from the pocket. He's going to load up. He gets hit on the throw. One-on-one -on -one for Kevin Knox, and it's almost intercepted. Kevin Knox was there in coverage. So here is Daniels now in the pocket again, throwing. It's Blaylock. He's got it on the sideline. Only need one foot in college. It's a first down. So at the 35, we send pressure. Daniels gets rid of it to Fitzpatrick, throws off to Marcus Forte, still on his feet, and eventually gets brought down by Ariola. but a gain of 12. This first quarter is winding down here as they get into the red zone. Daniels throws to Milton across the middle, and that one should end the first quarter. Looks like they're going to try to get one more playoff as they hurry up to the line. They do get the snap off. Daniels in the pocket, throwing to the end zone. Dominic Blaylock, touchdown, 17 yards. Daniels, 9 of 11 to start this game. A great two drives put together back-to-back, 14 to 3. So here is Terrence Pitt Howard. Here is a handoff, and that is a loss of two. This Georgia defense is stopping us so far. Scrambling now, third and 12. He tries to throw at the last second. It's almost picked off by Christopher Smith. And another punt for this Charlotte offense. Meager pins them inside the 20. So here they go back on the next drive. Milton breaking a tackle from Ariola, and he does fall forward for a gain of 14. D. Brown Jr. actually from the defensive tackle position ended up making that tackle. So now here we go, second and seven. We send the blitz and it's going to be caught. Washington off to the races. The tight end gets brought down from behind by Youngblood. That's a huge gain of 54 yards. We sent the pressure. They actually looked like they were gonna run the ball and we tried to stop that. Instead, they throw it over the top. So first and 10 now. JT scrambles, he's got blocking downfield. He falls forward and it's a touchdown. 18 yard scramble by JT Daniels. It's now 21 to three. Five and a half to go here in the first half. Charlotte is falling quickly and we need to get some offense going. Rochford throws way across the field. It's caught by Santana, gain of 27. I'm surprised Rochford had the arm to make that. So now set up inside the 15 yard line now. Rochford with that big play as we line up in the eye formation. Alexander Wynn in the backfield blocking for Terrence Pitt Howard picking up a gain of three. So third and six now, Rochford under center throwing and he dumps it off short and Terrence Pitt Howard, the defense closes quickly. It's a loss of one. So here we go towards the end of the half. Here is a throw to the right side. George Pickens on the sideline catches that one. And now there's two minutes to go. Georgia threatening to score. Here's a throw to the end zone and almost picked off. Kevin Knox could have had two this game. That one was in his hands. So third and five call. This time it's a screen pass. Milton, he has blocking and picks up one more, breaking a tackle and falling forward for a gain of nine before stepping out of bounds. So 21 to six here, and now Georgia looks like they're gonna put up another score on the board. Here's Milton cutting to the middle of the field and gets tackled at about the two. How about D. Brown Jr.? He's in on every single tackle this game. So third and goal, Milton up the middle, falls in. Touchdown, a minute 12 to go. And Georgia looks like they are unstoppable on both sides of the ball. Raj for now, about a minute left. Here's a quick throw at the last second. That's what he does. He is just fearless in the pocket. He stands in there and finds Dontrell Jones for his first catch of the game. Jones is a guy to keep your eye out on in this offense going forward. Here's a throw to the right side. Alex Patterson, the junior tight end, picks up a gain of six. So 20 seconds left now. This is a third and three pass to the right side. Matt Brooks to the five and falls at the one. Gain of 23, Matt Brooks showing up in the bowl game. So now we're at the one yard line. Here's a handoff, Terrence Pitt Howard. Touchdown, there we go. It's now a 12 to 28 game. We're gonna line up to go for two now. 
to make this an official 14-point game. Jeffrey Johnson checks into the game now. He's going to run the option and keep it and fall in. How about Jeffrey Johnson and the power he possesses? He's about six foot four, maybe even bigger with cleats on. It's now a 14-point game. The scoreboard actually looks a lot closer than what this game is. Georgia has dominated so far. But Daniels tries to get rid of it. One last Hail Mary. It's a sack. D. Brown Jr., All-American. That's his eight and a half sack of the season. And that makes it 28 to 14 going into half. We got to clean it up in the second. Georgia has dominated this game here in the first half, but let's see what our offense can do. Can we finally get going? And we start this half out with a handoff. Terrence Pitt Howard up the middle. It's a gain of four. Second and six, quick throw, Christopher Dalton. And he's got it just for about a gain of five, almost enough for the first down. Cash running in motion. It looks like Roger's gonna keep it. It's an option. Rochford pitches it to Cash. Cash has got the first down. You just do not see it. You got to pull it out in these games, these championship games, these bowl games. Got to do everything to win. Rochford now from the pocket. He gets swallowed up right away. The pressure was right in there. MJ Sherman went unblocked. So now a second and long play action fake. Rochford gets rid of it. It's Terrence Pitt Howard running over a defender. It's a gain of 17 yards. Nice throw by Rochford. So here we go. This is a handoff. Labata up the middle, and it's a gain of two. Labata is interesting, man. I brought him in as a recruit to kind of give Terrence Pitt Howard some more work. And here's a deep throw down the middle of the field, and he had Devon Cash. He just straight up underthrew him. That's one thing about Rochford. I love what he does as far as an accurate quarterback, but the throws down the field, those are his weakness. You can see it on that throw. Nonetheless, that brings us to a third and eight. Quick throw, Dalton. But that's what you love about Rochford. He makes all the accurate throws when you need them. That was a high pressure throw. Dalton, open over the middle. So here is Rochford now moving, throwing, and he takes a big hit. Gain of about, what is that, 20 yards on that one, getting to the five. Jeffrey Johnson checks into the game now at quarterback. It looks like Rochford shaking up. Here's a handoff. Pitt Howard, touchdown. It's now a seven-point game. But I want to highlight the big men up front. How about Romano and Jackson? Both absolutely destroying the defensive tackle. That hole was wide open. So now it's seven point a seven point deficit is here is Milton trying to run the ball. He falls in the backfield. And how about the penetration of our defensive line on that play? It's a loss of four. They get some yardage back here for a third and seven. They're gonna run a draw play. Milton tries to fight forward. Ugo Tenbawa, the senior defensive end gets in and we do get possession right back. But bad news to start out this next drive is gonna be Rochford. Strained Achilles out for the game and that will end his career at least at charlotte so here is jeffrey johnson he's gonna have to finish this game out and his first play is going to be a sack loss of 10 trayvon walker in the backfield third and 20 they only rush three this time they still get to us loss of 13 yards charlotte once again has to punt this away. And here is Jack Saint back to receive this punt. And look at this, they set up with excellent field position on this play, gain of 19. So at the 22 yard line, this is JT Daniels, comes out with five wide this time. Here's a throw to left side, Blaylock, who already scored once in this game, picks up a gain of seven. So they get it to the 14 yard line now. This is JT for a third and two. Running Burton in motion. They're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he had space, but Emmanuel Webb makes an excellent play. Take a look. He's getting blocked, and he just throws off the offensive tackle and gets to the receiver on the jet sweep. We get them to settle for three. Great stand that time on that drive. We're only down 10 to start the fourth. Here is Dalton, who starts it out on the next drive. Gain of 10. Let's see what the freshman quarterback has. True freshman Jeffrey Johnson. 
Here he is, first and 10, quick throw, once again across the middle, and it's Alex Patterson, gain of 15 yards. So let's see what we can do now across the 50. Jeffrey Johnson looks good on the, his first couple of passes. Moving, he's got mobility also, and he takes it for a gain of eight. Now he's our only active, healthy quarterback right now because after that, it's emergency quarterback Kung Yashu who had to come in. Here's a quick throw, and that's Labada out of the backfield. He was unguarded, gain of nine. Terrence Pitt Howard checks back into the game now. Four and a half to go. Ty Elliott across the middle. He checks in, and it's a gain of five for him. What I like about this receiving core is the depth. I think we got so much depth as Ty Elliott checked in that play. Here is on a second 11. Quick throw, and it's Christopher Dalton. Gain of 13, goal to go now. We're inside the five. So Terrence Pitt Howard checks back in. We're going to hand off to him, and he finds the end zone again. How about touchdown number three? Terrence Pitt Howard has carried this team as far as offensively getting into the end zone this season. He leads our team with 13 total touchdowns. So here is Georgia now back on an offense and trying to run the ball on a, on a quarterback power. And D. Brown Jr., how about the game he's having? He's in on every single tackle. He, bring, he brought down the guard and the quarterback with him on that play. Second and 12, Daniels tries to scramble, it's a sack. Look at this sack by Gary Anderson. You wanna talk about strength? He gets an arm in there and pulls JT Daniels down. Look at that. Incredible strength by Gary Anderson playing in his final game as well. Third and 15, this time two minutes, 15 seconds left. This is a big play. Daniels moves in the pocket, throws across the middle, and it's picked off. This is Chase Rollins, the sophomore. He picks up a couple of blocks. He's got some space to return it. He takes it back to the 46. How about Chase Rollins coming up with the clutch defensive play? And our defense has showed up here in the second half, only giving up three points. So here we go, two minutes to go, handoff. Terrence Pitt Howard, a lot of room up the middle, gain of about 13 yards. And Terrence Pitt Howard closing in on 65 yards rushing in the game. So first and 10, another throw. This is Dalton again. And his sixth catch of the game goes for 13, actually his seventh catch. So now we're under a minute left. We're in the field goal range, but you know we're thinking touchdown. We have all three timeouts here. Johnson, he's gonna take it himself. Smartly picks up a block and gets down in bounds. That will keep the clock running as well. Smart play by the freshman. So Johnson hands off. Terrence Pitt Howard, and he falls forward to the one. So I think Pitt Howard actually did us a favor on that play. Let us get a little bit of more clock off, and that one is gonna do it 34 to 31. We kick the field goal, we're up by four. So Charlotte now, all we have to do is play good defense here. We go with man three up. Here is a throw across the middle, and that is Jackson. Two seconds left, one more play. So JT, this will be possibly his final play of his career. Clean pocket. He throws all the way across the field, and it's picked off. C.J. Miles will seal it up, and Charlotte comes back down 28-3, to and we win this game. Georgia absolutely collapses in the second half, only putting up three points the rest of the way after that first half. How about the defense, the grit, and that will mark our 10th victory on the season and a bowl game victory versus a Power 5 conference team. This could probably be a sign of things to come. I was nervous going into this game simply because we have not played a defense this stacked before, but we're moving on to the ACC where we, we will play defenses like this every single week now. And wow, what a game. What a career from Rochford. He couldn't close it out, but Jeffrey Johnson came in and actually did not do bad. Eight for 10, 71 yards. He was sacked twice, but that's going to happen with inexperience. But how about Terrence Pitt Howard going into his senior season? He led us in with touchdowns, four touchdowns today. 
and man he has been just so good this season even versus a tough defense like georgia he still got his dalton was good in this one he was open quite a bit i was surprised they have a very good athletic linebacking core so i thought they were going to be stopping the pass across the middle a little more but i guess they left dalton open they kind of were looking at brooklyn santana a whole lot i don't know if you guys noticed during the game but they were sending a lot of double coverages at brooklyn i guess they feared that speed and then d brown jr i mean to be honest he could have had player of the game because he was in on every single tackle he was around he was actually you know disrupting plays that's one thing that goes underrated as far as defenses go you guys need disruptors on defense not guys that are going to make every tackle but ones that may change plays make offensive players run the opposite way and that's what he did this game i mean he was just unstoppable and georgia ends up losing by four what a season this has been 0-4 non-conference play i did not expect this type of turnaround and it, I guess it kind of showed, you know, what we had to do as far as our offense. I think we were being a little too aggressive, maybe, in turning the ball over the first four games before uh, JPE got hurt. He got hurt in game number three. And then when um, Rochford stepped up and had to take over, I mean, he just protected the football. And then we just let our def defense kind of come up with stops. Devon Cash was 100 yards short of a 1,000 yard season. Still a very good year. Coming into his senior year, he will start once again in the slot, obviously. But you know, one thing about him is that his ratings actually went up way, way up. I mean, his catching is way up there now. I remember the first couple of seasons he was ha having issues dropping passes, but now his catching has just naturally went up. It's now at about like 90 or so, just his catching. That's, in that's incredible, to be honest with you. D. Brown Jr. was an All-American this year. He had eight and a half sacks. Gary Anderson had five. Emmanuel Webb, ha Webb had four. And Kevin Knox was very good on the outside. I'm going to miss Vincent Youngblood as well next year. He was absolutely dominant as a starter in three seasons. So next episode will be the offseason. I will quick quickly recap this season and then get into the offseason can't wait jpe returns next season i can't wait to see what he will do it's going to be a whole lot of fun next year as we move into the acc as well don't forget that we now get a conference promotion for the second straight season hit subscribe hit that like button thanks for the support this season on to the next stay tuned let's get it let's go I'm up on my plaid, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in a bag fill. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quit to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like.